I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today. Well, I don't know if I'm excited because I'm going to tell you about my fingernail disaster. Yes, I applied some fake nails and I did it over gel, which I am here to tell you never ever do that and I'll show you the results of that. But I am excited to share my experience because maybe it can be a what not to do for you. But before I get into that, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging and some crazy things along the way, like artificial nails and do they work or don't they, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. And I will start this video by saying I am coming off of a sinus infection. I had it over Thanksgiving. I was sneezing like crazy over Thanksgiving. I am finally on some good meds and everything is on the mend now, but I look a little bit like Rudolph which I guess is okay for the season. So just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. We YouTubers get sick just like everyone and it is no fun. Let me preface this by saying that I saw these static nails on Angie's channel of Hot and Flashy and I love Angie. In fact, she's like one of my true heroes. When I came to YouTube, maybe a year before I started YouTube, I was looking for you know tips to help us in our aging process, makeup, skincare, and I found Angie's channel, of course, got on Retin-A, saw her fabulous results. I just have so much faith in her honesty and integrity. And whenever she recommends a product, I perk up because I know chances are it's a fabulous product. Another thing this whole situation reminds me of is that in any given product, some people will like it and some people will consider it a fail. And in my case, this was a fail. And I will link to Angie's video about this product because for some people that looks like a fabulous product, it just wasn't for me. So now let me get into my static nail experience and what happened for me. And I will tell you, these are not static nails. In fact, these are now nail tips. And I have not worn nail tips until probably sometime in the 90s. I had switched to gel nails and I had worn gels for so many years, quite honestly, that my fingernails underneath were not in the best shape. So I was trying to dip nails and whatever, but I was really trying to keep my real nails safer and yet still have something on them that made them look a little better than just polish because polish for me chips like crazy and my real nails are very thin. So these are nail tips that I got this afternoon at the nail salon. And the reason I went to nail tips is because of these static nails, because through operator error in part, I ruined my natural nails. In fact, I went in to see my nail lady Moon, who I just love Moon. I've gone to her for years. And she says, what did you do to your nails? <laughs> Why did you ruin them? <laughs> so I had to tell her about my experience with static nails. Okay, let's get into this. And I will say that I looked at the reviews on Amazon and many, many, many people love these nails. There were a couple of complaints though, and I experienced both of them, unfortunately. One of them was that for some people, the nails are not the right size. And that's what happened with these static nails. I bought this little set here, you can't really see them, but they're pink nails, and then the little third finger has kind of a sparkly silver, and I really like that. Okay, this is how the nails looked on me. And as you can tell, they really look pretty. You know, the silver nail especially, I thought that was especially lovely because I have never done that being a more grown up woman. But as you can tell, my nails are just too large for the static nails. And so they did not look natural because the static nails did not cover my natural nails. And they did give you several extra nails, but I really couldn't make a couple of my nails work at all. And especially with that third nail, they only gave you the one size for your third nail. And the second problem that I experienced with these nails is something that some of the other people that reviewed it stated. And that is that in the lighter colored nails, sometimes you can see the glue through the nail. And that's exactly what happened for me. As you can tell by the lighter nails, there is glue in the middle, which you can see, but I didn't get it around the outside. And that's because they say to apply a pea-sized amount. So I didn't really realize that I should go clear to the end of each nail but that really wasn't a good look. And I was so happy when I got them on. And at first I really liked them. And I texted my sister a picture and said, what do you think? And she said, they look fake. <laughs> and I realized, yes, they probably did look fake. But one fabulous thing about those nails is they were on there like iron. I wore them for almost three weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. And those nails were going nowhere. I, I even tried to lift them up at times and they were not lifting, which turns out to be a bad and a good thing. Because what I had done, thinking that I was protecting my nails, is that I had applied those static nails right over my gel tips. Because I thought, you know, my, my real nails are a little bit delicate, and so I don't want to put the fake nails over my real nails because it could pull off my real nail a little bit or, you know, cause it to layer. 
So I thought, well, if I just put those nails over my gel nails, then my real nails will be protected. What I didn't know was that cement-like glue in the Static Nails kit, and there is the little vial of glue that they give you right there. I don't even want to take it out because I don't want to have any more contact with this kit than I have to. But that glue wears like iron, and it apparently adhered very, very strongly to my gel nails, which is basically plastic on top of my own nails. So earlier today, I decided that I wanted to remove them. And at that point, I was just thinking that the static nails didn't work for me because my nail beds were large and whatever, and because of the glue showing issue in the light nails. So I had read some other reviews on Amazon about these Kiss nails, and so I had purchased these, and I thought, well, I'll remove the static nails and put these on because maybe they're larger, and oh my, are those the prettiest nails ever? This one is just a normal French, which I thought was very pretty, but look at this one. Oh my, I thought that would be so much fun to have the sparkles on the end of the nails, and I thought, ooh, that will be just wonderful. Well, what I didn't realize was how difficult these static nails would be to get off of my gel overlaid nails. And I experienced that earlier today, and it was nothing that I would ever want to go through again because it was kind of terrifying. Because when you've got like something cemented on your nail and you're trying to rip the things off and it's ripping your nails off, every nail is like scary. But anyway, these instructions basically said how to remove. After soaking in hot water for several minutes, gently lift the sides to remove. The nail will literally pop off when light pressure is applied if ready. Never force removal as doing so may cause damage. Well, I heated up the water in the microwave and I soaked my nails and after two minutes, they weren't going anywhere. After 25 minutes, they weren't going anywhere. So I had to start working with what I had. And so I would take the corner of one of the other plastic nails like they do at the nail salon and kind of put it under there and try to work it off gently. And each nail was just horrible to go through. And I'll show you here how the nails looked as I pulled them off in the little vat of hot water there. And just looking at that picture just kind of turns my stomach. So let me show you how my nails look this morning after I completed the removal. There they are, and oh my, they are really scary. In fact, I am glad that I still have all of my natural nails intact, even though, as you can tell, layers of my real nail have been removed. And I ended up just cutting them off totally short with my nail clippers and making an appointment with Moon, you know, earlier this afternoon and going in to see her, at which point she said, why did you do this to yourself? And at that point I thought, why did I do this to myself? So at that time we made the decision to go ahead and apply nail tips and I probably will regret this in the future. However, coincidentally, or God incidentally, as I like to think of it, although, you know, some people would say, Beth, God does not care about your nails. But, you know, I think God cares about every little thing that we care about. And so he cared about my nails being a wreck. And amazingly, when Moon was working on my nails, just at the next little pedicure station, this wonderful grown-up lady, a little bit more grown-up than I am, but she was having a pedicure and I noticed that her natural nails were just beautiful and she had clear polish on them. But I said, you know, are those tips? And she's like, oh no, these are my real nails. And I said, how did you get such strong, wonderful nails? And she worked in the health food store, which happened to be right across the street from the nail salon. And she said she'd been using it for about three months and that it totally strengthened her nails. And now they were very hard and durable. And basically what you do is this says to use two scoops but she said, oh, everybody at the health food store uses this. I use it and I just use one scoop and it works just great. And you just take one scoop of this and it looks like a little powder here and it's collagen peptide. And it's supposed to also help your hair, skin and nails as well. And it says 20 grams collagen per serving and it comes with this little scoop and that looks like a lot of collagen, which I'm sure it is. However, you just mix it in your coffee in the morning in fact, I have a scoop of the collagen in this coffee because I wanted to see how it tasted. You absolutely can't taste it. It's very good. No consistency to it at all. It's absolutely perfect. She said, go to the health food store and ask for Matt. So I go over to the health food store, ask for Matt, and he shows me the collagen peptides. And I say, well, does this help my skin too? And he says, well, yes, it does. But he said, if you really want hair, skin, and nails help, go ahead and get this and then get this Biosil which at this point I was ready to buy anything to take care of my hair, skin, and nails. And this says BioSil for hair, skin, and nails, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, check, thickens and strengthens hair, love that, strengthens nails, promotes healthy bones and joints. 
and apparently a lot of people at the health food store use this too so if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in learning if these things really work then please click that little bell and you'll get notifications of my future videos and in about 90 days I'm going to do a before and an after and tell you if these things really worked because I am sick of losing hair I'm getting tired of fine lines and wrinkles and I definitely need help with my nails okay well that was my look at my experience with the static nails and I guess the takeaway here is warning don't apply them over gel nails end of story now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I've been using these power thoughts cards for a long time I've been taking out the cards as I use them and I have five left so let's see what card God wants us to have for today Ooh, loving others is easy when I love and accept myself I like that loving others is easy when I love and accept myself isn't that the truth my heart is open I allow my love to flow freely I love myself I love others and others love me you know friends I absolutely love this card and I totally think it's true and if it didn't take so long for me to write it in each comment I would tell you something that relates to this because it is something that I believe wholeheartedly and that is that when we love ourselves we really see the others around us as loving good wonderful people and you know it's funny because a lot of the time in the comments you guys are mostly so unbelievably kind to me you'll say things like oh Beth you're so kind and loving you're beautiful inside and out and I say oh that's so nice thank you for your sweet comment but inside I'm thinking no I'm not sweet kind and loving although you know I guess I am you know I've got to be positive but that person is seeing me as a reflection of themselves so when you give me these wonderful kind positive loving comments I just read it as oh my gosh what a sweet kind loving person that woman is and I think that is so true loving others is easy when we love and accept ourselves I love this card so much my heart is open I allow my love to flow freely I love myself I love others and others love me so friends just for today let's create our own loving world let's let the love flow out of us to everyone around us because when we do that we love ourselves we love others and we have a beautiful second half take care see you next time